So I planted these plots last fall, and although I tried to do my best in terms of leveling work and making them smooth, I knew in the future there would be some more work to do. So today I want to show you how I'm going to smooth these out, level them a little more. We're going to do that through top dressing, so let's get into it. So for cool season grasses like I have here on this perennial ryegrass plot, you would want to do this probably in the fall time or late summer into the fall, but the second time that you could do it is in the springtime here. You just want your grass to be actively growing, and these have greened up nicely and are starting to act grow to where I feel like this is a good time for me to get this done. If you have a warm season grass down in the south, your summertime would be the best time to do some leveling work when your grass is growing the most vigorously during that heat. Now one of the things most people have questions about right away is what kind of material should I use? In the past I've done soil, in the past I've done sand. Today I'm going to be using the same topsoil that I have. I have a pile over there and I have a couple other piles that I've saved from some excavation work that was done around here. So I'm going to use the exact same material that is in my soil. It will match up perfectly perfectly and I don't have to worry about that. Now if you use sand, it's probably going to be better in terms of leveling properties over time, but you do have to do some ongoing maintenance with sand. You're going to want to aerate it over time. You're going to want to make sure that a thatch layer doesn't build up in that sand right at the soil surface. So I'm not going to go into the sand thing right away, most likely later on, once I get these slightly better perfected, then I can also go with the sand and really, really make it smooth and level. But today, I'd like to start with my same soil that I have and do it that way. So if you don't have some excess soil laying around like I do, then you're going to want to look locally for something called screened topsoil. And you may or may not be able to find that. I don't know exactly what's going to be available in your area, but that's what it's called here in Iowa. I have a pile left here, but you're going to see there's a lot of larger chunks of material in it. So I want to take just the finest stuff and put that down. And that's what I'm going to use this screen for. This is a very simple thing to build if you want to. I will link the video where I built this a couple years ago. But this is going to help me take just the finest material out of here and screen it out before it goes into my container there. So I got this sifted soil here, beautiful stuff, just the finer material that's left. Now you have to look at what your height of cut is on your grass. So if you're trying to do this to a little taller lawn, it's not going to work very well. You're not going to be able to smooth it out and push it around. So you have to cut it down pretty much as low as you can get it to go. And I think I'll take a spot over here in a second on some of the taller cut grass that I have and try to show you how that would work. But the advantage I have here is that this grass is already very low. It's at three quarters of an inch that I just bowed it to. So this is gonna help me to evenly smooth this stuff out. So you have a couple options. You can go just dump this thing on, use a rake and start raking it around if you'd like to do it that way. Or I prefer, and what I found is that using your shovel and kind of flinging it out onto here makes it so that it's not so hard to spread out. So I'll show you how to do that. You're just gonna take a shovel full here. You're gonna kind of grab with your dominant hand, since I'm right-handed, down a little lower, and then as you go through the motion here, you're gonna flip over the shovel, so like this. You can see that it spreads out here for you instead of having to rake it around and having a lot of heavy spots that are hard to remove because once you get the material down, it's hard to take it back away. So I would prefer to start light and go that route. This is my Rhino Lawn Care and Lansy Leveling Rake. What this is going to do is take this material that's up here, push it down into the low spots, and since you have a wide, flat width here, it's going to work things evenly. I'll show you how it works. As you can see right there, I had a pretty low spot which I could tell when I was mowing. Now if you see any low spots, I see just a couple divots right here. You can just pour some soil in there. There's one right there. And then just brush it in lightly with your hand. 
So the question then also becomes how much material should you be putting down? So as I said, this was a pretty deep hole right here. You can see where the rake leveled it all out and put it into that low spot and then made it all smooth. But right here where you don't see any grass coming back through, you're either going to have to add a little seed to that or you're going to want to brush it just enough to where you see some of those grass blades coming back through because they're going to need the sunlight to start to grow again. Otherwise, they're gonna be smothered. So if you have a really, really bumpy yard, you have to make a decision whether you want to do this in stages or I did in the past where I pretty much smothered a lot of the worst areas and just overseeded over top of it just meaning put seed back onto it and started growing grass that way. It was a quicker process than doing this in stages but if you want to keep the grass that you have then you just need to come through here enough. You can also use a broom if you want to but that you get your grass blades growing and you can see I've sort of unleveled this spot just a touch but I can do it in stages, so once it starts to grow again, you can add a light layer of soil back right to here and start to build it back up. But you do need to see those grass blades if you want to keep them growing. Now after you do that leveling on cool season grass, it would be a good time to overseed if you would like to. So you can simply add the seed right over top of there, just right onto that new soil. If you'd like to cover it with something, you can. Sometimes I have not done this at all though, and I just start my watering, it works the seed down into there, and you already have the seed touching that new soil, so it should come in okay. But you'll just have to monitor and see if you need something to cover it as well. Now it would also be a good idea after you do this to get some water on the grass, just to push that new New soil down, work its way into those little crevices, and try to make that grass bounce back again. A very light layer of fertilizer also to get some active growth happening again is not going to hurt anything either. Just don't go too overboard with it. But water, light amount of fertilizer, let this come back in and start growing again, and you'll be ready to mow. So it looks to me like I can do one more round yet. I don't see a lot of heavy areas that are really smothered, just aside from those couple spots that I showed you. So I'll do one more round here and see how it looks after that. Round two was definitely a good idea. That looks nice and even now. I'll show you a shot here of how it's looking. Now, like I said, I don't need to overseed or do anything because I haven't smothered anything. I put on a light enough layer that it should be fine. Just start some watering here in the next few days. All right, so I needed to clean up this edge anyway, so we'll use this as a test experiment area, but this hasn't fully greened up yet, but I wanted to give you an example of what I was talking about when your yard is already taller. This was cut between around two and a half inches last year, which is not really all that tall, but it doesn't really matter. Anything over a real mowed yard is really gonna act pretty much like this when you scalp it down. So you'll notice here that even though I have my mower set on the lowest setting, there's still a lot of thickness to the grass. There's not really a lot of room here to put on a top dressing and evenly be able to smooth it out. It's just gonna kinda sit on these top sections. It will fall down into here, but it's just hard to actually move it through this soil. So what I would like to do now is I'll get out my dethatcher, try to thin this out enough that I can get a clean, nice mow and have some space in between here. And then we'll try putting a little soil on it and see what it looks like. So you can see here there's a lot more space opened up. Actually that dethatcher that I was using is not very aggressive. If you were to rent a power rake, a gas powered one, really come in and tear this up, you'd get a lot more space too. Or I could keep going through it. That machine is not very aggressive, which is good for a lot of things, but if you want to be really aggressive, it's not really the tool for you. I cut that down now as low as it goes on that mower, and now I will put some soil on here and see how it spreads. Now this is also going to take a lot more material because obviously if you have a lot more height here before the grass starts to get smothered. You can add a lot more to it, but at the same time you're going to need more material. It's going to take more time. If you can find a top dresser anywhere to rent, it would be a lot of help in terms of getting this down a lot faster for larger areas. It's also going to be a lot harder to push one of these tools in the tall grass because it wants to grab onto everything. So sometimes with the taller grass, 
If I find that it's just easier to brush it down in just because you have all that extra material on top and it's much harder to get these tools to glide. Same type of principles apply here. You need to make sure all of your grass is coming back through and showing if you want it to come back. Like I said before, if you're looking to do more of an overseed or a slight renovation, then you can go heavier, smother certain areas and really work it flat. If you want to, it's just you're gonna have to add some seed onto there in cool season grass. This is more just for some smoothing. You know, it falls into those lower little divots and spots. I would not consider this a one and done process here unless you get pretty heavy with it and want to overseed. But for this, mostly if you just have some spots that you just want to try to make your mowing a little nicer and a little smoother, this would be a way to do it. Check out some more leveling videos here on my channel. Thank you so much for watching today. We'll see you next time.